you said you were emotional on 18 walking up, especially post-match. You were almost tearing up. Tell us what was going through your mind. Uh, you know, just your first win and um, my parents, you know, it, it always goes through your mind of any golf tournament I've ever won, you know, that my parents go through my mind because, like I've said numerous times in the interviews, that uh, without them I, I wouldn't be here. A lot has been written about your story this whole week here in Detroit. People know it now, and people were really rooting for you out there. Did you feel that? Yeah, the fans were great. You know, I couldn't ask for a better place to get a win. You know, everyone was behind me, cheering me on today, and uh, it really pushed me forward today, and I, I couldn't be more grateful for the fans of Detroit. You had a big lead going into today. There were a couple bogeys early, but you didn't falter. How do you do that from hole to hole if one hole isn't great? Uh, you know, you just, each hole, you just got to take it as a new hole. You know, I made I missed a short putt on nine there, but, um, you know, I, I've been playing well. I've been hitting the ball well, and I knew if just, just keep going, keep keep pushing forward, keep hitting good shots, and you'll make some birdies and hopefully close, this, close the tournament out. Okay, you're a, a PGA Tour champion. How cool is that? Uh, it's nothing cooler for a golfer. What do you get now besides this really cool trophy, a really big check? You get some perks, too. You get to keep playing. Yeah, I mean, getting in the majors, the Masters is um, something I'm going to just be absolutely uh, ecstatic about. You know, I, a few months down the road, but I'll probably be thinking about it about every day. So uh, getting to play in the Masters is a dream come true, and can't wait for that. You said you have job security now because of this, and you will always think about Detroit fondly? Yeah, yeah definitely. Anytime you get your first PGA Tour win, I don't, I don't care where you are, you're always going to remember that place. and. I'll never forget how great the fans were to me this week, and I, I really appreciate it. Last two questions. They're fun ones. What was the funniest thing you heard the crowd yelling out at you? I heard a lot of go, Nate, but anything else cooler? Uh, I heard <laughs> I heard one guy yell, uh, make Nate great again. And <laughs> that good. was that was pretty uh, funny, and we, uh, JT and his caddy and my caddy, we all got a pretty good kick out of that. Lastly, socially, media-wise, you got a lot more followers or anything like that? Is your phone blowing up? Uh, well, I haven't grabbed my phone yet. It's still in my bag, so um, I'm sure it is. But you know, I'll I'll come to that and thank everybody that texts me and, and messages me. Uh, it might take me a little while, but I'll get to that eventually. It's so awesome! An alternate. You didn't know if you were even going to make it in the tournament. Last guy in, first guy at the top. That is such a great sports story. Yeah, like I said, I've said it all week. I'm just thankful that I got in the golf tournament. I, it was such a relief on Wednesday when I got the call and said you're in the tournament. And um, it's a great feeling, and I think that, you know, went into the tournament this week because uh, I was just really happy to be in the tournament. So coming Thursday, I felt good about being out there, played great into Friday, into Saturday, and today it was just uh, it was a great feeling. Awesome. Nate, thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank Everyone's going to know your name now. Thank you. I appreciate it.